Why are you wearing a winter jacket? Because I'm taking the snowplow to the airport and then flying it into Cayo Perico. There is a major snowstorm going on there. What? You might be wondering why I'm wearing a winter jacket when it's like a really nice day out in Los Santos and it's really warm out. Well, that is because I just received word that there is a snowstorm happening in Cayo Perico and we are gonna deliver this snowplow right here over to them because it's a tropical island and they don't have any sort of snow clearing equipment so they were not prepared for this storm. Also, most of my viewers aren't actual subscribers. So if you like this video, consider subscribing because you'll really help me out. We got our big Tex flatbed trailer right here that we are gonna hook up to our Dodge Ram. So I'm gonna jump right into that and then we are gonna load up the snowplow take it to the airport. I've actually chartered a cargo jet, but first we got the trailer hooked up. Let's get it into position. We are kind of going up. I heard some scratching, but looks like we are actually gonna make it right on top of the trailer. And it's just big enough to fit the snow plow. Perfect. I got it tied down and secure. We're gonna lift the ramp up and get out of here. Now, I'll be honest, the one thing I didn't think about is whether or not this Dodge Ram can actually pull a trailer with a big snowplow on, on top of it. So let's find out. Let's give it some gas here. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's, you know what, it's moving. It's moving slowly, but it's moving. We're actually able to do it. Okay, here we go. We are off to Los Santos International Airport. Who left their U-Haul truck here in, in the middle of the street? And here we are at the airport. Now, I have chartered a plane, and it's not the big cargo jet I tried using last time, because that didn't quite work out. So I think the wingspan is a little too big for this runway. This time around, I have chartered the C-130 Hercules. It's not as big as the cargo jet, but it's still a cargo plane, and we are borrowing it from the US Air Force. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna pull up right here to the back, load up our snowplow. We're gonna leave the uh, ram and the trailer behind because there's no way they're gonna fit in there. And then we're gonna fly this sucker over to Cayo Perico and it should be just big enough to transport the snowplow, but small enough to still be able to ran land on uh, the Cayo Perico runway. I mean, it's definitely not the biggest cargo hold, but I think we should be able to just squeeze it right in here. Hopefully the snowplow will fit. If it doesn't fit, I have no idea how we're gonna get it over to Cayo Perico because I got nothing else. Let's get the snowplow off the trailer nice and easy. There you go. <laughs> this is gonna be such a tight fit. Careful now, careful. Ha-ha! <laughs> Great success! She actually fit. It's very, very, very tight but I have been able to get her in. Okay, I'm gonna get into the cockpit, uh, even though I know nothing about flying a Hercules, but how hard can it be? I I'll be able to figure it out. Starting up the engines, and we are moving. Oh, watch the wing there, watch the wing. We should probably turn. Oh, that was so close. Good thing I spotted that. Gonna be taking off here from runway 30 right. We're just gonna position ourselves here on the runway. And we are ready to go. Take off power set. And uh, we are rolling down the runway. It's a beautiful day to go flying. Although something tells me it's not gonna be as beautiful by the time we get to Cayo Perico. V1 rotates. And we got positive rate. Look at that lifting up here into the air over the Los Santos International Airport. Okay, let's go ahead and set up our instruments there for a flight to Cayo Perico. While the weather has surely changed, it's no longer clear skies over Los Santos. We're getting quite a lot of cloud cover down there. That is probably the snowstorm. We're just coming up on the island, so I'm gonna start descending through the clouds and hopefully we'll be able to find the runway. Conditions are extremely poor. I have next to no visibility. I'm trying to fly on instruments here, but I mean, I have no idea what I'm flying into. I'm keeping an eye out there on the mini map to try at least aim for the island, but it's literally like I'm going into nothing. I see stuff underneath us. That is the runway. We're gonna try to land. We're gonna run out of runway soon. Land, land, land. <laughs> I think we have actually landed in the middle of a massive snowstorm here in Cayo Perico. Wow, 
No wonder they called for a snow plow. It is so bad out here. Let's park it up maybe right over here somewhere. Just get her right into hopefully not a snow bank. Right here should be perfect. Wow, I can't believe how bad it is in Cayo Pirico. Like, how can they have a big snowstorm like this? The visibility was so poor coming down. I'm actually surprised I kind of made it. So, I'm gonna go ahead, open up the back here of the aircraft. We're gonna get the snow plow out. And then I guess we'll do some plowing and try to at least clear, clear some of the roads. Here we go, here we go. Just like that, and we are off. Whew. Well, I, I guess we're going this way. This is the one and only road, so let's get to plowing. And we are snow plowing and salting, because you gotta put the salt on the roads as well. It's kind of weird though, seeing like this tropical setting, but it's completely covered in snow. Nice and warm inside the cab though. Coming up to the gate here, let's see if anyone is around to open it for us. Hello? Anyone alive? Hmm, where is everybody? Staff only. Well, I, I guess I'm kind of like staff. I mean, I'm working the snow plows. So I'm just gonna go right in there. Oh, hey there. How you doing? <laughs> Look at that. He is so cold. Are you freezing or what? <laughs> I can imagine. You got no jacket, absolutely nothing. Why don't you come into the truck with me? I got the guy in the cab with me. Look how happy he looks. He's so happy that I picked him up. And now I put him into a nice warm truck. Okay, my man, you are gonna make it. I have saved his life. Continuing to plow, let's go to the left. Uh-oh, we're struggling here in the snow, barely able to do 10 miles an hour, and we are dropping here as we try to climb up this hill. It's really snowed in and very, very slippery. Come on, snow plow, give it all you've got. There you go, we are through. Looks like we got another vehicle over here. I'm gonna check for more survivors. Hello? Let's see if anybody's up here on top of the tower. Nope, it looks completely deserted. There is nobody out here, but wow, look at that. You can't really see much because of the poor visibility, but the entire island of Cayo Pirico completely covered in snow. It's a jungle winter wonderland. I, I, I don't even know if those things could go together. Let's get back into the snow plow, I guess. Here we are coming up to the main Villa, settlement, whatever it is. Coming right into the mansion, and here we are. We have arrived. Let's go see if anybody is around. Hello! Can anyone hear me? So far, I'm finding no one. I found a pool. Definitely do not want to go swimming in this weather. It's gonna be ice cold. Is there anyone around? I would imagine people are probably huddling inside somewhere, so maybe let's check some of these buildings. Oh, hey guys, here you are. Oh my goodness, look at that. They got a campfire going on so they can stay warm right next to the fire. And it looks like they also have some alcoholic drinks. At least you guys are keeping warm here by the fire. I'm not gonna be able to fit everybody into my truck. I only brought one truck and it's basically full at this point with the other guy inside. So as long as you guys are staying warm and burning, whatever it is that you're burning out here in this fire, we're gonna try to get you some help. But for now, just stay put. Wow, the situation is pretty bad out here at uh, Cayo Pirico, so I'm gonna go ahead and call into Los Santos, get some additional help because it's not just a snowplow they need. They need to be rescued. Hey, thank you so much for watching, but don't go anywhere. There's another video coming right up, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!